Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. It is a beautiful day, the sun is up, right in my eyes of course. <laughs> Both the bikes are looking good, a little dirty, but uh, still looking fairly good. They're a little dirty. This one's really dirty. I just got done playing in the dirt. And this one got a little sprinkle on it, so it's dirty, but uh, I got it uncovered. I'm going to clean it up, wipe it up, and everything else, and make it look even better. But, that's not the purpose of this video today. Look at this. I can have a halo. Look. Halo, halo, halo. <laughs> anyway, the purpose of this video today is to jump on here and show you something that I did. Now... I did not take you out on this repair with me, but I want you to see what this repair entailed. And it's not a video, it's just a couple of pictures here. I went out to do a chip repair on a vehicle that, honestly, the windshield probably should have been replaced. So my mirror that you see inside the car is about that big around. It's bigger than a silver dollar. It's bigger than a half dollar. It's two and a half inches across. So it, you can measure two and a half inches. The mirror part is two and a half inches across. And you can see this chip fills up the entire mirror. Now, most people would say, this windshield needs to be replaced. I don't know of a single company out there that would even attempt to do a repair on this windshield. But I learned how to repair big giant chips like this because I wasn't afraid to try. I always say keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up. And I it's exactly what I mean when I say that. So the last year that I was working with DentureFit, I would walk around parking lots on my days off and I would see, you know, a big chip on a windshield that most companies would say that windshield needs to be replaced. And I would put a note on their car and say, I would love to do this windshield repair for you at no cost. It gives me an opportunity to practice on so-called unrepairable chips and worst case scenario, you still have to replace your windshield if I can't fix it. And it blew me away at how many people would call me and say, hey, if you want to take a shot at it and, it and you're not going to charge me anything, by all means, go for it. So that was a beautiful thing. And I learned how to repair chips on cars that most companies would say that is unrepairable. We can't fix that. So you've seen the before picture. Now I'm going to show you the after picture. After I was done with the repair. Now I did explain to the customer I can't make this big of a chip completely invisible. You're still going to see some lines in the chip. There's no way to make it 100% invisible and you're still going to see the spot in the center of the chip where the glass is all broken out of the windshield and I have to fill that in with resin and scrape it off. It's going to make it white. It's going to look like a bug splatter. So here's the after picture. This is after I was done. This repair took me about a half an hour to complete. and. I actually impressed myself. <laughs> now, this repair I did charge for because I explained to her the windshield should be replaced. Um, most companies would say this is unrepairable, and she said, yeah, everybody said it was unrepairable. So I validated that, and I said, so if I make an attempt on it, you still pay me whether it's, whether it's a good repair or not, I still get my money. And she agreed. And I was blown away at how good this repair came out. Now, this windshield won't crack. So let me throw up the before and after pictures side by side here. 
This windshield will not crack now. It's good to go. It's set. Um, the repair turned out better than I expected it to. Way better than I expected it to. And th the reason I'm able to do that, like I said, is because I kept practicing. So let's say, for example, you want to improve your knife skills for cutting up vegetables and fruits and, and herbs and things like that. You want to be able to do it like a chef, you know, like real fast, like a chef. So you watch some videos and you practice. And after a few times, you're just like, I'm never going to get this down. I'm, it's never going to happen. Well, then you're a quitter. Because, and if you're a quitter, you're never going to improve. So the point is, if you practice and keep practicing and keep practicing and you never give up, in time, you will be able to cut up fruits and vegetables and herbs and things as well as any chef out there. I don't know if I've said this in a video yet on this channel. If you practice something for just 18 minutes a day, we all have 18 minutes to spare. We all spend way longer than that looking at stupid memes on Facebook or watching shorts or some stupid crap that benefits us in no way, shape, or form. So if you spend 18 minutes a day practicing something, at the end of 12 months, you have practiced that thing for 100 hours. Imagine what you can learn in 100 hours. So that's... I implemented that with my windshield repair business. I went and practiced. So now I'm doing the same thing with crack repairs. I just did one yesterday. The lady had a chip uh, right in front of her and she had uh, a little crack in the windshield and I said, I'll repair the chip. You pay me $35, but I will also repair the crack. I said, worst case scenario, you still have to replace your windshield if I can't fix the crack. But if I can fix the crack, I'm not charging you for the crack repair, I'm only charging you for the chip repair. She said, okay. And I'm starting to do that more and more now. So when I get to a point where there's a chip and it's cracked out along the windshield and it's cracked out, I will offer to do the chip repair for my price, $35, but I will do the crack repair for free so that I get practice. And if I can't repair the crack, they're no worse off than they were before. Worst case scenario, I will keep the windshield from cracking further. And that's what I tell the customers. If I can't repair the crack or the repair doesn't turn out well, at least with what I'm going to do, it'll keep it from cracking further. So you're not losing out on anything. You're still getting the chip fixed. We're getting some sort of a repair on the crack, even if it's not perfect, and it won't crack any further. So you're benefiting in three ways and you're only paying for the chip repair. And they love that. They're like, absolutely, let's do that. So that's a beautiful thing. Now today, I have trees to trim. I know I said I wasn't doing trees anymore, but you know, when you're good at something, when you're really good at something and somebody needs you, you, you should probably go ahead because it's money. <laughs> it's money <laughs> I'm not passing up money so I will make more today doing trees than I do than I will make during an entire day walking around doing chips so yeah I'm gonna do some trees today but in the meantime I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that you know you you've just got to keep practicing if you want to get good at something you can't just practice a couple times and then go oh well I can't do it I give up if you're doing that then you're never gonna learn anything you have to fail in order to succeed so there was lots of big chips that I tried to repair for free that just weren't working out they just didn't 
turn out the way I wanted them to. And I would always tell the customer, look, I'm doing this for no charge. You already have to replace your windshield. So if I do this at no charge and you still have to replace your windshield, you're no worse off. But I get the practice that I need. And I probably did a hundred of those over the last year that I was working with DentureFit. And I refined my skills and my products and my techniques. And here again is the before and after pictures. As you can see, this is pretty doggone impressive. So again, my mirror is two and a half inches across. Two and a half inches. Look how big this windshield chip is. Most people get a windshield chip, it's smaller than a dime. Smaller than a dime. This one was two and a half inches across from side to side. It was huge. And like I said, I don't think there's a single company out there that would have attempted that repair. But if I can do those kind of repairs and make the windshield safer and keep it from cracking and they don't have to replace their windshield then they're better off because I can do the repair and I'm better off because I can make money on stuff other companies say is impossible to fix that's what practice does for me that's what practicing gets me and that's what practicing can get you. You can practice anything you want 18 minutes a day. After 12 months, you've practiced that thing for 100 hours, and you should be very proficient at it. All right, the wind's messing with the camera. I know it is. So I'm out of here. I got to go hook up the trailer and go do a couple of trees today. <coughs> 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 So I will see you in my next video. Don't forget, keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up. I live what I say. <laughs>